the South Dakota opener of uh, archery antelope today. These guys mainly deal with archery hunts and uh, they do a great job so I'm real excited to get into the blind. They got tons of blinds set up. Uh, we're gonna go hop in one of these uh, homemade blinds and uh, sit by the water and let the 90 degree weather bring us in a big old goat today. It's gonna be a scorcher today, 90 degrees. Um, we're going to get in here and uh, smack one down, so. There we go. All right, hear me. I'm over here uh, setting up. I'm gonna buy in. I'm gonna settle in this metal shack and get ready and I'm gonna smack myself a Pope and Young here in a while. Alright, should be about a 20 yard shot. I got some goats right over here. I got a big buck over here. They're gonna be right on top of us before we can even uh, barely be ready. One thing about the high temperatures sitting in them blinds is what? We're, we're, we're thirsty they're thirsty. So they're, that's the perfect time to be in a blind as much as a guy doesn't want to sit there and put the time in. Uh, the first day I got there, it was over 90 degrees and I'm sitting in this tin, tin little uh, shack and waiting for these critters to come in. And it's about 100, 105 inside this little shack. So I'm in there sweating. But the whole thing is, when it's hot, the action's gonna pick up. Be about a 25, 30 yard shot. Be just right. Let's just kick back and check it out. Something's gonna happen here pretty quick. I'm in the blind, I'm here. I'm ready to rock and roll. We got goats surrounding us. One big buck over here, a couple nice bucks over here. But there's a lot of tracks down by the water. And we're just gonna kind of wait them out, and we are gonna rock and fire when one comes in. We got a big goat coming right now. Here we go, baby. It's go time. Rolling Bones Outfitters, a company created by hunters for hunters. Let us help you find your next outdoor adventure. Contact us at Rolling Bones Outfitters. We match the hunter to the hunt.
got a big goat coming right now. Here we go, baby. It's go time. If you're a bow hunter and you're looking for one of the ultimate challenges in bow hunting, you have to get a hold of us and make sure that you let us know what you're looking for. But if you're looking for a challenging archery hunt, then antelope are absolutely one of the top, you know, big game animals in North America that will challenge your instincts on when to pull, when to draw. These goats, when they're coming to water, that's where the predators are waiting for them too. You know, they are on high alert and they are spooky. So you gotta be really still, really calm, and really careful. Oh, just missed a real nice goat, Pope and Young, for sure. Um, filming by myself, uh, the Rolling Bones team's over in Wyoming, and uh, filming some archery hunts over there. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> I pulled it instead of squeezed it one of them deals uh... jumped the gun a little bit i mean perfect setup perfect i wasn't even in the blind an hour and uh... five bucks come strolling in one of them had a a bunch of brush and grass in his uh... rack and uh... one of the bigger bucks out of the five come right down into the water um, twenty seven yards um, they're just hanging out. Uh, they're not going to come back in for a drink. They're kind of spooked and rattled. I'm just going to kick it for a while and uh, get some tissues out of my backpack and wait my tears away. Cool thing about sitting in a blind and twiddling your thumbs waiting for a big trophy antelope to come in is uh, getting on your phone and, and uh, texting and seeing how your buddy's doing up in another state. Brian's sitting over there in a blind, sweating like crazy, just like I am. And uh, we're both waiting for the same thing and trying to capture some great film and shoot one of these big folks down there. And as you can see from the video, that there, uh, this outfitter has a massive amount of animal. They are archery only. So these animals do not get bumped out of their native territory. They're not getting ran around during rifle season. Actually, quite the opposite. All the other ranches in the area are running antelope into their place. So it's like a large sanctuary. And you know, based on what you're watching right now, you're seeing, are these the same antelope over and over and over? And the answer is no. They are different antelope coming in and over a two day period, what would you say you saw? 50, 60 antelope? Oh yeah, he's in from a distance a lot more than that, but would come in around the water hole, yeah, in a day and a half of hunting, um, probably around uh, 100, 130 goats around the water. So it's action packed. And Brian and I have been to this outfitter a few times, and it's a great place, like you said, with quality. And when I say quality, I'm talking 60 to 80 inch goats. And then, so, I mean, your chances of shooting a Pope and Young antelope are, are huge there. So, you gotta check this outfitter out. Uh, great place, great facility, and the lodging's wonderful.
Go to our website and check out the concierge service and you can find outfitters like this for your future hunts. There's a really good buck. Good chance he's coming in. He spooked those other bucks, but this one's a good, good buck. He's over 70. day one um, I should have been done very early this morning lots of goats um, lots of uh, really good bucks there was uh, about a half a dozen shooters and uh, I missed a really good Pope and Young buck this morning uh, seen one that would go over 70 and uh, I still see some goats back here right now. It uh, was just under 90 degrees and uh, we had a breeze all day and it worked pretty good. Uh, I sat in here from about 7.30 to 7 so it's been a long day in the blind. We're uh, gonna try her again bright and early tomorrow morning and see if we can stick one of these big old goats in the morning. <laughs> Wyoming Arms, modern precision in the Old West. A must-have rifle for the must-be outdoorsman. Made in the USA. Wyoming Arms, the perfect solution. All right, it's my second day, uh, and uh, yesterday they put me on the goats. It was in the high 80s, and... Uh, I missed a really good goat first thing in the morning and uh, that was my fault. I, I pulled the shot and shot over him so hopefully today I redeem myself. It's going to be in the high 90s, uh, mid 90s, hopefully hot enough to get these goats watering so I'm just going to kick back in here and, and uh, cook in the old tin shack and I'm ready to roll. Should be about 30 yard shot. Forty, forty-five at the most, so. away and you got to be really on your game because you know you're spending a lot of time in the blind 
You can see them coming from different directions. And uh, these animals, they stop and they stage up and you gotta be prepared for what's gonna happen next. That, that you really, when they're staging up, you have to be absolutely dead still. Um, I've read that they have 32 power you know, eyes, and I don't know exactly what they do or don't have, but I know this, those suckers can see a long ways away, and uh, there's a reason that uh, Roosevelt said they were one of the hardest things on the, the uh, high planes to get a bullet into. And these are really tough, and you're shooting them with a bow, so in, in this particular outfit, you should, we're hunting with the archery equipment, so you really, really, really gotta be still in those blinds. That's a great point because they don't come in when it's windy or breezy. They come in when it's dead calm. And, and uh, I tell you what, one little mishap in them blinds, especially because in the blinds it can echo a little bit, it can ruin the whole hunt. So like you said, you gotta have some quiet clothes and you gotta be patient and uh, let the animals come in when it's calm. And it's hard to get a draw on these critters but when they do and they put their face in the water, just let them have it. Just smashed a giant goat. I think it's the biggest goat I ever killed with a bow. Just smashed a poper, baby. A poper. Just a pig, too. Just a pig. Heavy, heavy, big prongs. Northeast Wyoming's premier sportsman's destination location. Off the grid sports. When adventure is everything. And black iron guns. Provide ammo, firearms, and anything else you would need for the outdoor adventure with the area's largest wildlife display. Makes this a premier sportsman's destination location in Sundance, Wyoming. Black Iron Guns. Off the grid sports, when adventure is everything. Today, just smashed a poper, baby, a poper. Just a pig, too, just a pig. Heavy, heavy, big prongs. Missed my buck the morning before, which they put him right on me, 27 yards. I feel foolish. But smashed a buck right here, man. Same spot as yesterday, a little farther, about 33 yards. Oh, man. Yes! That'll work, won't it? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Good hooks on it. Yeah. How far was the shot? 33 yards. 33. I, uh, yesterday I seen, I had, what did I have? About 15 bucks come by this pond yesterday, missed one. There was a couple really big, well over 70 inches. And uh, I sat from 7.30 to uh, a little after seven last night. And this morning got back in here in the same place. And I tell you what, it was a real, real slow morning. And then all of a sudden, here they come. Here comes three bucks. And the bigger one comes in first and I am just jacked. I am jacked. All right, this big line here in the mud is from my yesterday's arrow. And here's today's. Those goats weren't too far off, like four or five yards.
The old Spitfire smashed him. That worked out awesome. It's been an awesome couple days. Uh, it's just what any guy wants to do. I've never shot anything out of a blind. And uh, oh, spot and stock, and uh, used decoys and shot some pretty good goats, but I've never shot anything on water like this, so uh, I'm real pumped and excited. And I'm telling you, if you guys ever want to go on an antelope hunt and you only got a few days, this is the place to come. Because glad uh, finally uh, sealed the deal. I appreciate it. Good Thanks, job. man. One of the biggest highlights of this antelope was crazy. First of all, usually you get one shot at a big trophy antelope. I got two. So that was the best part of my hunt. I got one great big goat in. Well, had the goat in, missed. Next day, same goat, same crew comes in, and uh, same position, uh, one of them unbelievable hunts. Um, doesn't happen like that every day, so that's probably the best part of my hunt was is getting a second shot at a Pope and Young antelope. You just got to watch Mark shoot a really nice goat in South Dakota. Stay tuned next week and watch what Brian gets. He's chasing a monster in Wyoming. All right, we've been sitting in this uh, Primo's double ball blind all day long. And uh, the goat we're looking for just came across this little flat out in front of us and dropped into a drainage ditch. We believe he's coming down and drinking some water, so that's what we're looking for. If he doesn't, uh, we're going to do our best to. Well, here he comes, actually, right now. Okay, here he comes. This episode of Rolling Bones TV is brought to you by Wyoming Arms, modern precision in the Old West. Off the grid sports, when adventure is everything. Black Iron Guns, Varmint Hunters, Mountain Khaki, built for the mountain life. Caribou Gear, the outdoor equipment company. Rolling Bones Outfitters, we match the hunter to the hunt. Closed captioning brought to you by The Lodge at Deadwood. We want to help you find your next adventure. Rolling Bones Outfitters was a company founded to help you find your next adventure, no matter what your budget. Go to rollingbones.com and go to the concierge service. It costs you nothing to get hooked up with one of our national accounts representatives that can help you identify and locate your next fishing or hunting adventure. Rolling Bones Outfitters. We match the hunter to the hunt.